Omicron outbreak is fueling a spike in daily COVID numbers here in Georgia. Today, the state public health department reports more than 26,000 new cases. 370 mostly unvaccinated patients are in the hospital and 33 people have died since yesterday. Now, one day after kids started the spring semester, uh, the Cobb County School District is changing its COVID-19 protocols. Cobb County is one of the few counties to make masking optional. Fox Live's Patty Pan is live in Cobb County tonight. And Patty, you spoke to some parents, a lot of them not too happy about the changes. Not happy really is an understatement. It's really been a tough pill to swallow for a lot of these parents. As you've said, many of them have actually been uh, fighting for a mask mandate in the schools since the very beginning. I think that our school board, uh, Cobb County School District, is choosing not to do the hard things. They are choosing to take the easy road out. Many of the Cobb County parents are angry. Effective immediately, COVID-19 protocols in all county schools have been revised. The changes came at the end of the Board of Education meeting Thursday afternoon. Among the changes, the county will no longer conduct contact tracing. Shocked, appalled, disheartened, discouraged, angry. I mean, I could go on and on about the emotions. It worries me because I know the testing and knowing where it originates from uh, can make our community safer. Cobb County Superintendent Chris Ragsdale made the announcement citing a letter they had just received from Governor Brian Kemp and Department of Public Health Kathleen Toomey. It was sent out to all public school districts in the state. Shortly after, Cobb County School District followed suit with an email of their own. In part, it reads, quote, Cobb schools will not continue contact tracing all suspected and confirmed COVID-19 cases. We continue to encourage families to make health decisions which are best for their families and to not send students to school sick, end quote. To see the decision by the school board to kind of just throw every caution to the wind, it, it, it is surreal, really. It, it's just unimaginable. One other major change, it now allows educators to be grouped in with workers who can return to work after being exposed to the virus, regardless of their vaccination status. If they remain asymptomatic, they can return with a mask during the quarantine period. Ultimately, they want teachers in buildings so schools can operate, throwing complete cautions to the wind regarding um, the safety of our students and the safety of all the other staff members in the building. It's just, it's, it's unsafe and it could be deadly. Now, district spokesperson did release a statement to us in part reading, quote, the updated protocols balance the importance of in-person learning and frequent changes associated with COVID-19. Reporting live in Cobb County tonight, I'm Patty Pan, Fox 5 News.